Welcome to another video of Liligo TTGO T-SIM 7000G module. Today we are going to see how we can set few parameters of our development board. Also we will send few AT commands to get the IMPI number of this device. So let's get started. To get the code you can use the link given below in description or you can also search in Google. This is the first link. Under the example folder, you will find Arduino network test folder. Double click the folder and open the file which name is Arduino network test. Copy the whole code. Open your Arduino IDE and paste your code. In this code, we can see 80 commands are written here. The baud rate is written here. The parameters we want to know about the code. For that the code is written here. You can see serial 80. The header file tiny JSON which library we have already installed in our Arduino ID. The code is also written here to indicate the existence of SIM card. In this given argument you can choose whether which network mode you want to use in your board. Whether it's GSM or 4G or GSM plus 4G or automatic network mode. Another option you can choose that is CATM and NB-IoT. These are the two of the most popular IoT connectivity option right now. Both of them are new mobile standard for growing low power wide area network. As of now it is set to both. We will just skip it. Next we will just verify the code by saving it to the random location. Let's name it network test. Save the file and it started compiling. I guess it's done. Now time to upload the code in your development board. Select the board, the COM port and upload the file. Like our last video we do not need to set up APN for this code because we are not using GPRS or internet connectivity. The uploading is done. Let's open the serial monitor. You can see the network signal strength is showing here. It's also showing that modem is online and it's reflecting the status of SIM card. It's also showing the IMEI number of this development board and continuously sending the signal strength to your serial monitor. Like I said it's written here. We have not inserted any TF card or SD card to our board that's why it's saying the SD card is not inserted and the IMEI number and other information is showing here. Hope you like this video. If you do, subscribe the channel. Thank you.